Hey everyone, how's it going? Techno Tiger here, and I hope you're doing well. Today I'll be going over another Warframe guide. This time it's going to be on the new gathering systems recently implemented in the new Plains of Eidolon patch, namely fishing and mining. I'm going to go over three main points in this video. The first is going to be how to mine as well as how to fish. The second is going to be on the vendors related to these two systems. And the third is going to be a few tips to help you guys be efficient, as well as the best spots that I've found in my experience. Lastly, we're going to quickly go over and discuss the current gathering professions in Plains of Eidolon and how they are currently holding up. So that's going to be at the end of the video. So I'm really excited to bring you guys this video because I feel like there's a lot of really great information in here that can help a lot of new players as well as older players that just haven't gotten around to spending a lot of time in the Plains. So without further ado, let's jump into the guide. Hey everyone, we're going to start off with mining and then I'll quickly jump over to fishing after I'm done explaining here. First you're going to need two things, a cutter as well as a fishing spear. The cutter is for mining and you can get both of them from the respective vendors in Cetus. They're both 500 standing each which you can get from just a couple bounties. Here I'm going to be running one of my favorite routes and when I get to the tips and the locations I'll show you guys a full sized map of the planes so you know exactly which place I'm going to and the places I recommend. Here I'll quickly go over the overlay as well as how to mine so you guys can better understand it. So this overlay is going to be the first thing you see after you do equip the cutter from your gear slot and you'll see the number on the right is the first thing I want you to pay attention to. Initially there's not going to be a number there but as you travel around there will be a number that appears and it'll indicate that how far you are from a node near you. You want that number as low as possible and once you get it to around 5 meters look around and you should see a blue or red lining in a rock. That means that that's a node. Once you see it, you're going to want to right click to aim down your cutter and you should see a white outline of the node. You're going to want to follow that white outline as best as possible. When you do start cutting, then there's going to be a few bubbles that start filling up hopefully at the top and this then indicates how well and how accurate you are cutting the current outline. The more means the more of whatever node you're cutting you're going to get. So the more ore, the better and more precise you cut it. And the bar right below that that does fill up, the yellow bar, that's how close you are to completing the mining. So once it gets full that means you are done and complete with the mining and it should give you whatever node you just extracted. Now that's the overlay, that is how you mine. And you just, like I said, hold right click to see it and left click to use your laser. It is going to be very difficult at first and very shaky, but trust me, it gets a lot easier with better cutters. So don't be deterred. Trust me, it gets a lot better. Now with that being said, let's jump into the fishing part. Here I'm going to quickly explain fishing. This is a much simpler task than mining. There's not as many intricacies. And so make sure you do equip your fishing spear and you can Equip both of these, your fishing spear and your cutter, from your spaceship after you are done getting them from the vendors. So after you do equip it from your gear wheel, all you're going to have to do is sit with it equipped, make sure it is equipped, so sit with it equipped next to a body of water. Here I'm inland, you can do this inland as well as outland. You will get two different kinds of fish based on if you are inland or outland. And then once you are here, wait until you see some fish running around and just simply hold right click to aim and left click to throw it. Now that's as simple as it gets. And in the next part, I'll be showing you the vendors for both of these skills as well as what they have to offer. Hey everyone, welcome to Cetus. This is one of the two vendors that I wanted to take a look at for both of these skills. Now I'm gonna quickly go over the vendors for what they have to offer, but mainly focusing on why they're important to you as far as gathering is concerned. So this is the first one. She is a fisher, Fisher High Look. She does offer a few fishing services, so after you're done fishing up, then you can sell them to her for standing or cut them up for bait if you need materials for other things. More importantly, she does sell wares. And the wares being, of course, the fishing spears, but also these baits. Now you're going to want to take a look at these baits. They all do something different and work in different ways. And they'll cost you standing, but thankfully they're all reusable now. So once you do have these, they will increase chance of getting rare fish spawns. And the luminous dye will allow you to see these rare fish spawns even better. Although it only works for two minutes. Make sure to take a good look at all the different baits and dyes that she has to offer because they'll help your fishing significantly. 
while these trophies don't really give too much, you're going to want to focus mainly on these spears. These item upgrades, these other spears they have here will make your fishing, will allow you to capture much more rare and bigger fish. So that's the main thing that you're going to want to keep an eye on when it does come to fishing. Now we'll quickly head over to the miner, which is just across the way here. Old man Sumbat. And so here he also offers things for the gems. Here you can sell the gems directly for him, to him for standing, similar to the fish. But again, more importantly, he does have wares. So again, here you buy your cutter, but he also offers these reusable blueprints for gems as well as alloy. When you do get these, it's really important if you plan on making anything because you're gonna need a lot of these materials. But again, more importantly for us, as far as gathering is concerned, is these upgraded cutters. So the advanced no sum cutter is the best one you can get and this is going to be our goal here because it'll make cutting significantly easier and it'll increase the range at which you can see uh, nodes on the right side in meters. So with that being said, these are the two vendors that you're going to want to keep, keep an eye on and look to upgrade just so that you can fish more rare fish as well as cut more rare gems and alloys. So with all of that being said, we're going to head over and I'm going to show you guys the most important part, probably the part that you guys have been looking forward to the most, a few tips that I found while fishing and while mining, as well as uh, an entire map and the locations for all of the fishing and mining places that I found work best. I hope you have all enjoyed the video so far and now we'll head over. So here we have a quick map with a legend that I actually mocked up myself to hopefully help you guys out and better understand where all the locations are. Then we'll get into the tips. All the purple as you can see are the mining areas. This is mostly areas with a lot of rocks and a high rock density means a higher chance of nodes and I found this place is pretty close to where you start off and there's a lot of rocks there with not that many enemies and so that's why I like to go here. And I did note a cave on the right side because it's pretty convenient and I find that there's at least three or four extra mining nodes in there so it's a fun place to check out. Now for fishing all of these blue nodes are going to be all the fishing spots I like to use. Now I'll tell you the best spots are in the bottom right and the top left. I don't really like to fish inland nearly as much as I do in the oceans but if you need specific fish that you can only get inland then these are the two spots that I like to use. So with all of that being said, hopefully now you have a better understanding of the location. And now I'll get into the spots that I actually like to use and show you a few tips that I found along the way. Now that everyone is a little bit more familiar with my favorite fishing and mining spots, I'm going to quickly go over a few tips for fishing and then mining right after. Here you're seeing a clip of me fishing at night and this is my favorite night spot. I do have a favorite day spot as well. They are significantly different in that you can only see in certain spots during certain times. So while this spot is also good during the day, I found it extremely good at night because of all of the visibility and the decent spawn rate. Now we'll transition over here is my favorite daytime spot. And I also forgot to mention that in the last clip, that spot for night is actually in the very bottom right of the map that I had just showed you guys. And this daytime spot is in the very middle left of the map that I showed you guys, just so you know. I found these two spots not only had the best fish as well as spawn rate, but they're pretty far away from all of the Grenier, so you're not going to get attacked nearly as often as a lot of other spots that I found. Also, that trollock tra was not just the first one. I actually got three or four here. It seemed a lot of large fish like to spawn here. So this is definitely my f new favorite spot for daytime fishing in the ocean. Now I'm going to jump over and show you guys my favorite inland fishing spot. Although I don't do it nearly as much, this is uh, something that you guys have an option of if you do need a specific material. And here is the best inland fishing spot that I found. You'll note it by it being next to a giant cliff or a giant mountain. Now overall I found that fishing inland is significantly worse than fishing in the ocean. So like I said, unless you need material specific to the fish inland because they are different fish, then you're just going to want to stick to the ocean in my opinion. It is, like I said, much more efficient. And also there's a lot more Grenier encounters when you are inland. So besides that, um, 
A few extra tips is that I found dye to work actually pretty well, so if you can afford twilight bait, I'd recommend it. It does increase the amount of lungfish and um, at night sharks and carquina do show up a lot extra I found when I am fishing. So that's definitely worth it. With these spots I showed you, the luminous dye isn't nearly as effective just because you do have really good views in all these spots. That's why I picked them because they do have good spawn rate as well as incredible visibility. That was definitely high there on the list of things that I had to have in good fishing spots. Now besides that, this is a great way to get standing. I'll definitely recommend it for anyone that hasn't tried it out. It's actually pretty fun. I'm not usually someone to go out and do life skills like fishing or mining, but I found this one to be really fun. And it is actually a lot more efficient than if you were mining, just because mining is so tedious. But the thing is, make sure you know you cannot attack or anything while you do have a fishing pole out. And the same can't be said for mining. So keep that in mind if you do encounter enemies that you need to first take out your weapon before you can do anything. Now that's all the tips for fishing, we'll head over and look at mining. So here we are going to be winding down the guide with this last mining section. And in this mining section I'll be telling you guys a few tips as well as my favorite locations for efficiently farming. Now here is my favorite location actually. This is directly to the right of the entrance when you come out to the plains. I like it because it's extremely close to the entrance as well as it's on the way to one of my favorite fishing spots. There also seems to be a lot of sentient spawns here so I do find myself in this little cavern type area extremely often and there seems to be a pretty good payout whenever I am here. So as far as mining tips go, I would definitely say persistence is key here. This is a bit more frustrating and difficult than I would say fishing is, but a good tip that I have here is as you can see I like to start at corners because corners I find are the most difficult part. So if you find a really difficult part in one of the outlines, I would say go and attack that part first. It would make the rest of it a lot easier and I think um, the success of mining would definitely be a lot higher if you did the difficult part first so you don't have to remember it. Also another tip is like I said persistence is key because there's going to be a lot of difficult uh, mining nodes and overlays to get because the first cutter is extremely difficult to use. The second one is significantly better so if you just keep at it and get your standing up then when you do get your standing up you will have a higher level a cutter offered to you for free so you wouldn't have to spend the standing. The same thing is with the fishing pole, I just forgot to mention it, but it's also not nearly as important for fishing as it is for mining, just because it does create such a big impact on your mining. Now as far as mining goes, I wanted to make sure that you guys do know that to take advantage of being able to do combat with your cutter out. So I like to put, take my cutter out when I am flying across the plains and whenever I happen to be close to a mine, I'll take it out and get it if it's convenient. Now that's just something I like to do to save myself some time and hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. But those are just a few tips that I have. I haven't done a whole ton of mining, but I have found a few ways to make it a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit more efficient. So that's pretty much the entire guide. Now the last thing I wanted to do was discuss a little bit about the current state of gathering in the Plains of Eidolon. So in this very last part of the video here, I just quickly wanted to go over and discuss with you guys what I think about the current state of gathering in the game so you'll get my opinion. And I definitely want to hear your guys' opinion in the comments. So tell me how you've had it as far as gathering goes, if you've liked it so far or if you haven't, and what you have liked and what you think could be improved. So, so far, uh, as you probably could tell from this video, I love fishing so far. I think it's really fun. Like I said, I don't really usually like these life skill type uh, side kind of skills that you get in the game, but I've actually really, really enjoyed fishing so far. But the same can't be said for mining. I really wish that um, they made mining a little bit more fun. I don't know exactly how they would do that. Maybe make it so that they, all the nodes weren't in the middle of all the grenier. That's probably the number one thing that makes it not that fun is I have to fight off waves of enemies just to get a few mining nodes in. And a second thing I'd like to mention is for fishing, I definitely hope that they change it so that the fish show up before you take out your fishing pole because as of right now, you have to kind of carve out some time in your schedule if you do want to go fishing because you got to go all the way over to a good spot 
and then you have to pull out your fishing pole and then that's when the fish start spawning. So I really would like it to be more spontaneous like mining where the fish kind of just are there and you realize it and you take out your fishing pole and it's kind of just a good time and kind of a good surprise for everyone. But that's just a couple of thoughts I had and I'd like to hear again what you guys have to say. I really enjoyed making this video like I said there's a lot of really good content that I think could really help a lot of people here so if this did help you out please make sure to leave a like and subscribe I'm coming out with content pretty regularly now so thanks again hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all very soon